when you look out and you just see thousands and thousands of people and them down at front are going nuts, that's that just that makes my idea. It's Joe and Kate here at Neighbourhood Weekender 2021. It's lovely to be back in the field. And Katie's performing right over there, DJing to all them people. Katie, are you excited to be here? I am super excited. Who, who's on that stage that I'm going to get drunk to and watch? So Zuzu's playing at the moment, yeah. playing some absolute bangers. Then we've got the Mysterines, Reverend the Makers later. So it's going to be a jam-packed day. Okay, yeah, I'm going to run and see James. Last year I saw, well, the year before last, I saw Richard Ashcroft. Yeah. And it was the most, I was on someone's shoulders. It was James the most beautiful James. moment ever. So super excited. It's class. Well, should we go and get stuck in? Woo! It could be a bit weird, but it just feels good. It just, as a, as, I can't explain it any better than that. It just feels good to be back. Are you excited to be at Neighbourhood 2021? I'm buzzing, mate. What did you just say in your face? NB21. Who did that? Me. Neighbourhood, Neighbourhood 2021. 2021. It's been too long, and there's nothing else like screaming your tits off with hundreds of other people and just the smell of sweat in your yeah, nose. The there's nothing else like it. Hello, we're the Sherlocks. I'm Kieran and I sing. I'm Brandon and I play the old pots and pans. <laughs> I'm Trent and I play bass. I'm Alex, the guitarist. Yeah, we're in uh, we're at Neighbourhood Festival in Warrington, which I believe is in between Manchester and Liverpool. The beautiful place. We've always been a band that's like built as audience through go, going to places and then going to the next one and then coming back to them places and just like gradually trying to build up as fans and uh, just grafting really. Um, Played Neighbourhood before. To be honest, it's probably one of our favourite festivals. It really is. Uh, we played it the first year it started, and the lineup were just, just insane compared to any other. Um, so it's a, yeah, it's a top festival. Uh, I'm Tommy. Uh, this is uh, this is Janice. <laughs> Who's Janice? My picnic. Black. She's a grower, not a shower. Hey, I don't know what is going on. Are you excited to be back at festival? Yes. So excited. I, it just feels normal again. Who are you excited to see this weekend? Um, James, actually. Sam Fender and Jake Fogg. Oh, what a tune Sam Fender is. Sam Fender. Um, yeah, we're big fans of him. I love his sound. Um, yeah, I'd say probably Sam Fender's my favourite, like, current artist who's coming up. We, we're all big fans of him. Um, sounds class. But yeah, yeah, it's probably him. Um, trying to think of it. And James, James Redlining tonight. We're big fans of them. James, why do you want to see James? Just because they're an iconic band? Yeah, they're pretty sick. Yeah. yeah. What tunes are you excited to see from James? I might sit not, down. I'm not sure. Down. Yeah. What if they don't perform it? Sometimes they don't like performing sit down. Shit, isn't it? Be shit. Tell me about the bands you want to see this weekend. Okay, so I'm buzzing for Wombats. Yeah. We've just been to Vistas, which were really good. Um, Dun Jerry which is brilliant. Oh, so you did last night? Yeah. How are you finding the festival the night before, getting up in the morning vibe? Um, I'm all right. I was fresh as a daisy when I woke up. I can sesh all day, me. Right, who are we excited to see this weekend? Take the mic. Oh, mate, Cabbage the Ball, man. What song have you already sang really loud to today? Uh, that Dreaming of, what's it called? Dreaming of You, Carol, yeah. Oh, mate. Yeah, so the first single, Falling, um, I think that will roll around the start of like lockdown, probably March, April time. Um, just probably a bit frustrated. I think it just came out of frustration of being like, obviously everything kicked in and you couldn't go out on the road and play gigs anymore. And I think the song was born out of that, but it started with the, the first riff, the de -de 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 and then all the lyrics just followed after a melody. And I think from the start, that tune always had attitude. It's probably it's probably one of his favorite favorites to play. City Lights. I'm not sure when that came about. I think it came just after recording second album. So it was probably one of the earlier songs from his, from this new album. Um, proper anthem. So yeah, they're both fun, both fun to play. And uh, yeah, more at the same on this third album. There's, it's, I think it's a, a 10 track album and there's, it's just absolute banger after banger. Like it's literally, if, if you, if you, a fan of coming to our gigs and just bouncing. We could literally play this album from start to finish and it'd, it'd be insane. So, yeah, can't wait to get this one out. What's it like being back at a festival? Oh, it's beautiful. It's really nice to see the crowds again, see everyone. The beer helps as well. 
What have you come dressed as? Just myself, mate. So what was the difference between these outfits? You don't want to get dressed as was the other one one eight man. The other one's around there. Probably You're over joking, there. you but it feels amazing just being around people and just enjoying ourselves. It feels great, yeah. There's a lovely spirit around here today. Yeah, it does. It has love and energy. Being so far that you've loved uh, self esteem. Everything. Self esteem. Self esteem, self -esteem we're banging. And then uh, we came last night, Jerry Cinnamon, Jay oh. Bird. Unreal. What was Jerry Cinnamon like? Oh, unreal, mate. Yeah. Unreal. Neighbourhood Festival 2021. I'm here with a very special guest. But can you tell me who you are and where are we right now? I'm Jamie for the K's and we're at Neighbourhood Festival 2021 and we've just played the main stage. Of course you did. Jamie, have you missed these kind of events? The thing is, I speak to anyone in a band, they'll tell you, like the best time of the year is festival season. Yeah. Like, I'm sure you know that yourself because like, you're just like, because of things like this, you just knock them out backstage, <laughs> get pissed and then end up seeing all your mates and just yeah. f***ing, nah, it's quality. It's great, it's good to be back. Absolutely ecstatic, yeah, it's buzzing, really buzzing. And the best thing is, is that we're from Warrington, so what could be better? It's just mint. It's just class. So you're a music student, so do you get inspiration from the bands you see? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, everything, like, it just coming. What inspires like, you? What inspires me? Right, so when you see a band on stage, like, I go, that is what I want to do. So then I go and do music at college and uni and everything. And then hopefully you think you're going to be up there. Right, out of all the songs you've missed playing live, give me your top two. Right, so Glass Towns, are we? That... We, we put it half way through the set so I'm nice and warm. Like, I get warmed up by the time Glass Sounds comes in. And then Sarajevo is obviously the, a winner every time. What kind of acts are you looking forward to the rest of the weekend? Anyone that stands Catfish. out? Catfish. Catfish. Yeah. Catfish. 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 Oh, Sundrakama. Oh, yeah. I just saw Lona. Lona. Oh, yeah. I've never heard them before, but it was sick. Small little indie band and they were fucking wicked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wicked, so mate. What about the rest of the weekend? What are you excited to see? Well, Sam Fender tonight. I want to go see Jake Bug in a minute yeah, and Sam Fender. Fender. Sam oh, Fender, God, yeah. Man. Sam Fender. Obviously Catfish. Catfish! Oh, yes. All the way. I love, I love Catfish. What about the rumours that they were splitting oh, up? It's, I'm, I'm a bit scared. I'm a bit scared. This could be the last time we they're see my, Catfish they're about They're my then. ultimate band. Really? I'm terrified. They're unbelievable. They're unbelievable, Jeff. Who <laughs> yeah. are you excited to see this weekend? Catfish the bottle, man. <laughs> Their music's unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah. If you could sing one Catfish and the Botman song, what would it be? Go sing one. Rango, because it says my name in it. That's it. What's your name? Abby. Abby! Right, so I'm looking forward to Sam Fender, but the main one for me today, I've just met him backstage for the first time, Gang of Yous, you know, the oh, Aussie boys. The he's going, why don't you tell us you were on at this time? I was like, mate, what do you want me to do? I'm never supposed to be following me alone. <laughs> they're, they're the second best band on all weekend, I'm telling you. It's a special feeling to be able to be one of them people who stands on that stage and looks at. Obviously, them in crowd don't get to see what we see, so that in itself is pretty mental. When you when you look out and you just see thousands and thousands of people and them down at front are going nuts, that's that just that makes my idea. We started playing. We started in my dad's garage kind of thing, so just jamming covers and that. So the fact that all them people literally take it take it up upon themselves to like come and watch us is a bit mad for me like like thousands and thousands of people come to watch us when we just like we never wanted to really do this did we it just it just kind of happened so we're actually we're actually forced into doing this yeah we were forced like but uh yeah but literally the amount of people who've seen us today and like made a conscious effort to come down early to watch us means means a lot they're going to click on one song for them to listen to on your Spotify that just show, sums up who you are, what tunes you played them. Click any of them, lad. They're all f***ing class. So, so to you, just pick which one you want. Rain or shine. you got your anorak on. you got your waterproof bloody picnic blanket. You can sit wherever you want. I love it. I love it. Case, Jamie. Legend, mate. I love interviewing you. That's the you. maddest interview I've ever done in my life.